What's up guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. Today, I've got an awesome makeover for you guys. We're gonna call this a quarantine cut because my model here hasn't cut his hair in about 19 months. So you're gonna see that we're gonna cut it off, we're gonna donate the length, then we're gonna fit him into a trendy style using Mitch products by Paul Mitchell. Super excited to share with you guys this step-by-step -step technique. Make sure if you like the technique, and hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got new videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here we go. All right guys, so to start off the technique, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section off the head. It's really important to just keep everything nice and clean. So we work parietal ridge uh, really to that low crown area that separates the top and the bottom of the head. And then I'm gonna start working diagonal back partings and really just kind of work that flow following the hairline and allowing the hair to come straight off of the head. And that's gonna give me a nice even round kind of balanced feel across the head shape. And it's gonna push that weight off of the face and allow the hair to just kind of flow backwards towards the nape. So uh, key things here, bring the hair kind of straight out from where it lives. Don't bring it to the guideline. If you bring it to the guide, what's gonna happen is you're gonna keep building length uh, with every section that you take. What I wanna do is I wanna keep everything nice and even, so I bring the guide towards the new section. They kind of meet in the middle, and then that's where I cut it. And I just keep working the round of the head all the way back, and I'm gonna do that same thing on both sides of the head until we finish through. So now this gives us a good profile view of my model. And what I want to kind of share with you guys, is he's got a pretty flat uh, back of the head. So this happens around the occipital bone. Some people's aren't as prominent as others. So what I like to do is start to build up weight in that low crown area. So that's why I sectioned it the way that I did. So as I take this and I work my way towards the back of the head, you'll notice that my elevation is much lower. So I want that weight line to start to build up. And then I'm gonna push that weight into that low crown area. So see my elevation, how it's down. Uh, on the sides, it was up almost 90 degrees out of the head. Now we're working at almost 45 degrees off of the head shape. And what that's gonna do is again, push that weight into that low crown area and it'll start to give the illusion uh, that he has more of a rounded back, in, uh, rounded shape in the back of his head. So I'll just keep working through it, uh, building up that weight, look at the low elevation here, and then you'll start to see that shape kind of forming in the back. So you can see that buildup of weight. It just really helps to kind of balance out somebody's head shape. So now this will turn into working into the front. Uh, now I'm gonna be taking pretty much vertical sections across the top and pulling them back, over directing them back. What that'll do is push length towards the front, but it'll also give him length to kind of push back off of his face as well. Um, so I really like that kind of combination to create this finished uh, end result. Another thing that you'll notice when I start working with thicker, denser sections, I like to switch to point cutting. That gives me a softer line. Uh, it just allows that hair to fall a little bit softer uh, when it's in a bulky state. All right, so we do some final detail work around the ears using our scissor and then the finishing touches using Mitch uh, Steady Grip by Paul Mitchell. Uh, we're just gonna work that into the hair, add shine and hold, and then when we get the hair dry and kind of in place, then I finalize it using Mitch Construction Paste. I love this product, it's a mesh styler. Uh, it has a nice hold to it, a little bit of shine, uh, and just really kind of separates, shows off that texture. You can see our end result. He was super happy, uh, loving the change. I hope you guys like it. Let us know by hitting the like button uh, and also subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching see you on the next video